planted some cover crop in here. It's going to be followed by spring oats, so it's going to be an interesting experiment. We've established three types of establishment here. We've got the normal Claydon drill with the seven inch A-share, which we're looking at here. And you can see the um, cover coming up nicely. We've also drilled with our new low disturbance twin disc, twin tine arrangement, which we'll do a video of separately. And we've done one with the twin tine with the front tine in, so it's very similar to the, this one. Um, what the plan is, is to look at the roots and see how those roots are developing and how that's coming forward. So looking at this one, we have fantastic establishment of the cover crop here on the 1st of September. It was drilled on the 9th of August. You can see those multi-species all coming. And just here below the fork, we can see a plant. I'm going to put the fork in and attempt to do a shot and we can see what the roots are coming like. So if I pull the, the plants up, we can see here all of the growth. We can see those new roots going down from this buckwheat and uh, very nice, strong rooting, lovely soil, disturbed by the front tine, remember, just giving this better rooting, I feel, and, and, and more chance for the plant to really, really prosper. But remember, this field is actually, um, is, is, a, is a very good field. The soil health is excellent. Um, so hopefully, you know, all of the um, treatments that we're drilling will, will perform brilliantly. But this is just one plant here on this field and we can see multiple species all coming here around us. And if we cross over here, we now enter on to where we've drilled it more into the rows with the lower disturbance drill. And here we've just used a disc and a tine to introduce it in the top half inch. We've moved less soil, you could argue maybe held a bit more moisture and got a little bit better start in that dry conditions we had in August. Um, but have we got the breakage in the ground underneath? And have we got the same rooting is the big question mark. Not against the lower disturbance, I think in really good soil health it works fantastic. But if the soil health was compromised, then we may have a little bit more of a struggle on our hands. But you can see here, we've got lovely plants, all growing nicely. There's a nice big one here. I'm trying to find one about the same size as the others that we would, were digging in the other field. There's one just over here. And what we'll do is we'll dig this one up and see what his rooting is like. Already I can feel the soil is much more firm under the fork and uh, is, 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 is a little tighter, hadn't been disturbed by the front tine. And now pulling it up, you can see the soil coming up and looking here at the rooting. We've got nice soil here, all, all nice and crumbly, where it's in lovely health. The plant itself is rooted and uh, we can see the roots on it and not maybe quite as prolific as the one as the, the other one that we did but I'll do a picture of all the three when we're finished and uh, we can then have a little comparison between the three plots so this is the twin disc um, and we're looking for getting more as much rooting as possible drilled straight into the chopped wheat straw and stubble and uh, we'll, we'll progress through the season and monitor the rooting as we go along. So a very interesting experiment for us to run and you can see it's done a, a very very good job of establishing all those varieties. Again in here you can see some of the plants have, have had a little bit of flea beetle damage on um, but at least they're here and not in my all seed rate crop. Here we're going from the low disturbance twin tine with just the discs in the front and we're swapping over now here to where we've used the front tine using the twin tine kit. So all we've done is swap the disc for the front tine and you can see we've got more soil disturbance but we've got some very very strong plants here coming. A volunteer all seed rape there you can see and looking through you can see these plants are coming very, very nicely. And what we're going to do is dig this one, 
the same. This is drilled with the twin tine as opposed to the A-share. So vertical seeding as opposed to horizontal. So technically it's still in the rows a little bit. And uh, we'll dig down here and have a little look at this plant and see what's happening on this one's rooting as well. So here we go, quite difficult digging with one hand, but we'll succeed. Oh, there's our dear friend Willy, the worm. You can see he's starting around there. And if I go into here, we can go to these roots. And look here, right down here we've got where that front tine has broken the soil and allowed that rooting to escape into the horizons down underneath the plants. They're in there lovely. And, uh, and when we're peeling the nice crumbly soil here, beautiful condition look after this rain of the weekend it's now lovely and soft in fact we've had enough rain now i think the mole drainer could come in and do some of our fields so find the, one of these plants i think that one's uh, probably pretty good representation there's another one here look at this one and uh, we've unfortunately difficult to see these little hairy roots but again wonderful establishment no issues at all drilled on the ninth the same as the other plots and is growing away beautifully as i've promised you a picture of the buckwheat plants you can see they're growing quite strongly on this a4 sheet this was a twin disc and a twin time. Ultimately, our lower disturbance where the soil was just a little firmer because it hadn't been broken by the front time. You can see we've got quite a good root here. And if we look at it, it's approaching somewhere in the region of, um, let's see, about seven centimeters nicely and, and growing nice and strong. Nice, healthy plant, um, nothing wrong with that. Rooting's getting going now, it's had some rain, but drilled into dry conditions on the 9th of August and those hot days we had plus 30. Um, this is the standard front time with a seven inch A share. You can see we've got more little roots near the top holding the soil here. And then these deeper ones, just a little bit deeper in. And if we look at these, we're probably looking in the region of that one there we're getting on towards 10 centimetres deep of rooting. So making a little bit more rooting and, uh, and about the same size canopy on the top of the plant. So I tried to pick three plants the same size. So with a standard seven inch A share and a little bit of breakage is allowed perhaps a little bit more rooting. And then we come to two plants that I pulled from where the front tine went, or the twin tine with the front tine. And you can see really good rooting same size plants, everything's got away about the same time, whether it's lower disturbance or drilled with the front tine and the A share. Again, these are about 10 centimetres long, which I'd expect from the three. So looking at the twin time with the front tines, we can see 10 centimetre rooting, nice strong plant. Again, seven inch A share, nice rooting, about 10 centimetres of rooting. And then here, with a lower disturbance, I'd expect it to be a little bit less rooting because the soil is tighter and it's had more of a job to get through. But having said that, it's still produced a very nice plant, but this has got a little way to go to catch up with the where the front time has made that rooting better. So you can see it's going to be a very interesting field to follow during the season to see how those plants all come along and uh, and how the next crop particularly responds, drilled with the lower disturbance, maybe into the better rooted areas from where the front tine has gone earlier, and uh, also drilled into where there's been less disturbance. We'll do it across those patches with the different techniques, and we'll see what it's like in the spring with that following crop of spring oats. All the best for now. Keep safe, Jeff Clayton.